Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and this week like last week I'm just adding the final touches to the UI and also finishing off the trait system. So for the first few days of this week there was again nothing particularly exciting to show you so like last week I've just saved a few more interesting tasks to do today and I'll just give you an overview of what I did in those first few days but this is the last week that I have to do that so I'm going to finish off the UI stuff today and then I'll be moving on to something new next week which should hopefully be a bit more interesting and then I can go back to the old video format. So for the first part of this week I was mostly working on the entity pop-up GUI and I actually redid a lot of the code for this so that it would be easier to fix those layout issues that I was having with it and as you can see it's now looking a lot cleaner and tidier than it did before uh, all of the padding is now consistent, all of the colours are now consistent and it's just generally looking a bit nicer. The other big thing that I did this week was to update a lot of the icons in the game and some of these new icons I made myself, some of them I found on this website here which I'll link in the description but the main change that I made was in the code to get these icons to be rendered at the resolution that they were designed for. So for example these icons here, uh, they all have image files that have dimensions of 20 pixels by 20 pixels and they're now being rendered on the screen at a resolution of 20 pixels by 20 pixels and because of this the icons now look a lot cleaner, uh, the edges aren't blurred at all which happened before because of the scaling down process and it all just looks nicer and more professional. Uh, there is unfortunately one slight problem with this which is with the mouse over effect as you can see the mouse over effect actually changes the size of the icon which means that the icon is no longer being rendered pixel perfectly so it doesn't look as good. So the first thing that I'm going to do today is to change the mouse over effect so that it no longer changes the scale of the icon. So I've just been implementing this new style of toggle button and you can see them up the top here so now when you mouse over them they turn green and then when you click on them and actually toggle them the background turns green. Uh, so this means that the icon itself doesn't have to change size at all but as you can see there are still some issues with it which I'm still in the process of sorting out. Quarter to 12 now and as you can see the new tabs are now working as they should be and I also implemented them into the species information GUI and also into the entity pop-up GUI. So that's all working and now I'm going to implement some tooltips for these so that when you mouse over one of these buttons a tooltip appears telling you what that button does. Finished adding all the tooltips now so every button in the game now has a tooltip which appears when you mouse over the button and that tooltip just gives you extra information about that tab. So I'm just going to stop for some lunch now and then I'll get back to work this afternoon. Just been doing a few more little tweaks and improvements to the UI so for example I just implemented a flashing effect for the icons so you can see here that the task icon is flashing because I've just completed a task so it's indicating that uh, the rewards can be collected and now because I've just unlocked a new species you can see that the species shop icon is flashing and you can see that new species here. So now I actually need to do some baking, I'm going to make some cookies for a birthday party that I'm going to tomorrow. Next up today I just added the dead tree species into the game and this is the last species that I'm going to be adding into the game before release and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, unfortunately I just noticed there's a problem with the top branch there, the normals are the wrong way round. Uh, so I'll have to export the model again, but other than that, it's looking pretty nice. Just made one final change to the trait system which is now completely finished and that is that a lot of the variables that are being used in the price calculations were previously hard-coded up at the top here, but that is now no longer the case so I can now make different traits cost different amounts of DP to modify, so some traits can be harder to modify than others. So for example the size trait now costs a lot more to modify than for example the fruit production trait. So 
Lastly today I've just been updating the language file a bit and I also had to update some of the species files but nothing particularly exciting to show you unfortunately. It's been a bit of a problem for the last few weeks. I haven't really known what to show in these videos because I'm not really adding any new exciting features into the game like I was earlier in development. It's now just kind of a lot of fixing and redoing old stuff and just adding final touches to things. So if you have any suggestions as to what else I could show in these videos or anything else that you'd like to see, then do let me know and I'll try and do that for the next video. But for now I'm going out for dinner and then we're going to see the Festival of Lights or something, so at least I'll have some interesting footage of that to show you. So it is Saturday morning and today I'm mostly just going to be doing editing for this week's video. But before I finish this week I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the schedule for the final few weeks of development on Equinox, just so that you can see exactly what's left to do. So there are four main things that I still need to do. The first I'm going to be starting work on next week and that is balancing all of the settings for all of the species in the game. So that's things like balancing the prices, the life lengths, the populations how much food the animals need, how much food the plants provide, and stuff like that. Um, I've done a lot of work on this before, but there's still quite a bit to be done, so I think that will probably take about two or three weeks. Then after that, I'm going to be adding all of the tasks into the game, which shouldn't take too long, maybe just a week. Then I'll be doing some work on the audio system and adding all of the sound effects into the game, which will hopefully just take another two weeks. And then finally, I'm going to be going through all of the rendering code in the game, trying to optimise it, restructure some of it, and just add in any final graphical improvements. And that will probably take a bit longer, maybe three or four weeks. But that is everything that I've still got left to do in the game. I should be able to get it all done before the end of this year if everything goes to plan, which would be good. And then obviously after that, I'll be able to release the game. But for this week, that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.